Oh. Okay. Glad to know the first noise it recorded was me grunting going backwards. <laughs> All right. Get right to it. See yep. what happens. Dead men are heavier than broken hearts. I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes, but I left my wallet at home. Yeah, that's me. I'm getting old. My name is Sonny. Sonny Featherland. An investigator for 20 years. And once the star <laughs> of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department. One half of the legendary Chicken Police. But buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. The most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. It's funny because they do it in grayscale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still, what do I expect? We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence. Wolves and sheep, chickens and hounds. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. What could possibly go wrong? I'll go see. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. My office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it. She stood in the darkness. The light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth or Charlotte? I was sure she'd have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes, older than this ancient building, and perhaps the whole city itself. Or maybe I'm just drunk. But she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time, so I had to give her a chance. Well, hold on a second. Let me just check my drawer first. <laughs> wallet and my badge. The wallet is real. The badge ain't. Chief Bloodboil took mine, so I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes, just in case. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. Hey, shoot first. <laughs> my last cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. Yeah, it would be hard to smoke with me. What you're gonna try for sure. We used to be star cops a few years ago. Tabloid press, radio interviews, and even a book series. I don't miss those days. Of course, Marty, my old partner, would disagree. He just loved the spotlight. This is uh, this is one of the most beautiful memories from my old life. Before Molly left me. And took our daughter. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out that. Oh, it's a, like a parrot. <laughs> it was a photograph that was in the car. Uh, the good the things in life a don't last long. The best ones always leave first. I saw that in the window of a shoe store. I never understood it, or what it had to do with shoes. M. B. Davis, the eternal king of jazz. 
The photo is from the days of jazz prohibition. prohibition. I only heard the old man live one time, but I'll never forget that night. And not only because I woke up at the harbor without my gun, my badge, and my pants. Chicken. <laughs> oh, not really. One more picture of the wall, like all the way to the left. Oh, the okay. wild gentleman. Those guys rebuilt the city after the great fire of 867. It's a <laughs> my heroes when I was a little chick. I'm starting to think they should have left Clawville as it was, burned to the ground. There, now, it's not so dark now. <laughs> there we are, now it's not so noir in here. <laughs> Look at these heads. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely it's going to be a common thing, it's just animal head on human body. I wanted yeah. to travel the world when I was a kid, but I think I'm going to end up dead in here whether I like it or not. Oh, come on, George. <laughs> Books I'm never going to read. Maybe nobody ever has. I don't see colors anymore. <laughs> Only emptiness. Everything faded. <sighs> I need another drink. I promised myself I'd write a novel one day. I don't even know what these papers are. They're just decoration. Oh, I have nobody to call. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Hang on! One. I'm gonna try every phone number I know. Right. No end. Well, who could have guessed? Right. <laughs> um, we'll just have to work systematically. One, one, one. Yeah, one, 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 one two. two. <laughs> oh, damn it! I ignored the dame in my office for a while to examine everything I already own. Whatever's inside is gonna stay there forever. Really? I'd have broken into it. Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be yeah, one of those. That door lies the long, long door. Long, 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 long. Cigarette butts and empty bottles. All right. I guess that's fucked. Yeah. Look. Who is this dame anyway? And what the cluck is she doing in my apartment on New Year's Eve? What the cluck? What the cluck? We got no ask, no question. <laughs> what the cluck, speak. Joe? Let me introduce <laughs> myself. My name is Deborah, Miss Deborah Ibanez. You're mistaken, ma'am. Oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherland. <laughs> I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip... M oh, I mean, Mr... Philmar Lowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. Look at this classy. Mm -hmm. Am I that easy to read? That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? I don't... I don't usually drink. Well, I've got to have one. And it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So, maybe some sherry? If you insist. But bourbon, please. Ah, thank the wild ones. That's all I have. What a coincidence. So come on, spill it from the beginning. Uh oh, there's Deborah. Mm -hmm. Errands for employer, sophisticated lady. Also, particularly wealthy or influential family. Species Impala. <laughs> yep, pretty impala. Nothing too special, but it's a special feature. Yeah, nice place. Now we're competing. Who gets small money to pay first? The hotel's buddy. Honestly, I'm not that far behind. Uh, <laughs> and codex. Oh, if you need lore to the background. I see. Uh, are you taking police fame? Effective duo. Marty Mac Chick. All mm -hmm. right. 
King. But it's, I like the green color with sound to the other one over there. But that is like, where he's a chicken. <laughs> yeah. Ten books over seven years. Well, it's serious by now. As well as the chicken police. Did. Okay. Well, three gods are revered in most places across the world. The great wild ones make up the holy trinity of creation, destruction, and silence. Eriti is the goddess of creation. Tapti is the lord of destruction. And Nakabatiti is the genderless ghosts of silence and nothing. Keeping the balance between creation and destruction in their never ending conflict. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. The Quadville is an independent city state for nine years. Uh, tribal alliance, great insect lands. Idiot. Oh, I'd love to rub this in. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway. That's really just. <laughs> yeah, we just started game. I know we're green. That's better. Now, if I understand correctly, your mistress is receiving threats. What kind of threats exactly? It's a very strange matter. First, there were letters. Then it came printed on a wine bottle's label, sent as a gift. Then carved into a brick, thrown through the window. And finally, they painted it on the wall of the house in giant red letters. I think it's time to dig a little deeper. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some routine questions. Please, that's why I'm here. New function questioning. Yep. I've learned a question. <laughs> what do you know about she or she's suspicious? I'll trade on that. Oh my goodness. Tutorial, there again. He is suspicious. I am suspicious. Why are you suspicious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their impression. Every impression has a new question line. Detective meter is your best friend. Shows while the question is going. Keep it on the positive side. Okay, this guy. Yep. So that's basically the hint of whether or not you're doing better or worse talking to someone. Mm -hmm. I must be cautious and smart. This dame seems shy, which I can use to my advantage. But I must be careful about what I say to her, or I can scare her off. Let's start gently, and when the time comes, we can go in hard. His head looks so tiny. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The first question is, who exactly are you? Who exactly are you, ma'am? I'm, I'm not somebody important, Mr. Featherland. You're important enough to deal with such a delicate matter, right? I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork, most of the time. You've been thrown into deep water, sweetheart. Tell me, can you even swim? Believe me, this is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you, if not even more. I must be cautious and smart. I should use that to my advantage. Let's start gently when the time comes. We can go in hard. So you should appeal to her, her shyness. Mm -hmm. Which part of the city do you live in versus you're not very confident? Are you sure you're alright? What do you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think this one sounds friendly. Yeah. Rather than accusing her or not. Yeah, being yeah. Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Calavera Hills, Flowerville, maybe. Look, I, I don't want to answer that. I'm here on behalf of my employer, and not on personal business. Fair point, Deborah. Let's try a different approach. Like, stop playing the frightened prey, sunshine. Start singing. <laughs> no, no, you have to. Yeah, be, you have to be kinder to her right now. Why did you have to visit me this particular evening? I have my reasons. I may look like a silly little fawn, and maybe I am, but I still have common sense. I don't doubt that for a second, Miss Ibanez. This day is essential to my mistress, and she thought it's also important to you. 
A message in itself, <laughs> for sure. But to be honest, even you are. You know what? I'll just take that as a compliment. Even if it wasn't meant as such. It's animal heads on human bodies in a detective noir. Yeah. Well, it's hard to understand. Well, let's see here. Hmm. Well, definitely not the first one. <laughs> Do you even know what you want? Were you born and raised and clothed? Why did you come to visit me? Why not employ herself? I mean, this one seems like it'll actually go somewhere. Well, note that there was one more impression I had on her. Right. Well, this one sounds just too accusatory. Well, you can't, you can't, you can't do the first one. The first one's just like, yeah. what the hell? And this one seems too personal. So do you really want to be talking yeah. about this point five goes? Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. She hasn't been leaving her home lately. Only if she really has to. Could she possibly be a cat? How so? <laughs> I think so. Let me draw a picture. <laughs> She's scared because of those unwanted messages. And everyone knows who she is. So she's that kind of woman. I don't know what you mean. Of course you do, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We're finally getting somewhere. We avoided the point long enough. <laughs> Deborah's hiding something, no question. Let's focus on that. Okay, so what do you want from me? How'd you get this address? I'm sure it's not intentional, but are you toying with me? What exactly do you expect by coming here to meet? Probably again. Well, it seems like at that. this point, we're we're gonna. It actually wants you to focus on why is she here. So it has to be a question oh, about okay. that. Specific. You're right. Let's focus on that. What do you? Address here. Point. Hmm. Maybe. What do you want? I think that's fair. I think that's fair. What do you want from me? Me? Oh, don't be silly, Deborah. I mean your employer. I was just talking <laughs> to myself out loud. Well, Miss Katsenko thinks you're a great detective, and you're also reliable. That's why I came. Did she also give you the lockpick? Please, could you let this go? I'm really embarrassed. Sorry, sweetheart. I'm just teasing you. As soon as I saw you, you were forgiven. That's... that's very nice of you. It has nothing to do with being nice, Deborah, but you're welcome. All right, that actually moved up quite a bit. I would think suspicious. All right. Well, to break in, yeah, I would say... You have to break into my office? Why? This whole thing is a little <laughs> suspicious. Look, Santino, I'll explain everything. I have no doubt about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No offense. I'll take that as a compliment. Or maybe I'll act like I haven't heard it. You see, we're starting to understand each other. I won't come clean, what's the point? Or tell me never why should I believe you at all? I mean, this seems more aggressive. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I mean, a detective meter is good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got that going for us. Uh, De Tell me, Debra, why should I believe you at all? Because my mistress trusts you. Should that be enough? If you really like what she thinks you are, then yes. Damn, what can I say to that? Look, I didn't mean to back you up against the wall. You have a way with words, sweetheart. Did you ever want to be a cop? No, not for the world. <laughs> Smart answer. Well, okay, I, we have no more questions to ask except this. Be honest, <laughs> tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler. Or as most people know him. Ibn Wessler, the kingpin. Exactly. <laughs> Feathery gods, help me. So you get it now. The secrecy. To put it mildly, I think I understand it all. Wessler. This little piece of the puzzle changes everything. Hey. Alright. Oh, there you go. I'm a living legend. 
perfect job. <laughs> exactly how you would have done ten how how you would have done ten years ago. Oh, beware, Lawville, Sunny Fellow, Chicken Police are back in action. Awesome. And the infamous gangster Ivan West. Let's retry so we can do no. it. <laughs> Let's do off by now. Okay. So now So now you've got a very basic gender. Gender female, she has remarkably green eyes. She definitely So am I. Lawyer and has allegedly she two rats. And then the other one. Okay, cool. I guess you just press the right there. Well, I use click. Yeah. That was one again. Real estate mogul, bank director, museum owner, distiller, smuggler, and information broker. That's only half of it. Thoughts are everywhere. Of course you can't. And you got I guess those are three oh that's your inventory over there. Gun badge cigarette. Okay, cool. Alright. Maybe in another lifetime, old bird. <laughs> can you check the trash? Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh. Alright, so. Now you probably have nothing to lose. I would think. Why don't you take it to the police? Just go there and file a report. Photos, flashing lights, fingerprints, you know the drill. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Or just try the phone. Triple five, triple one. <laughs> Please, take a look at this. Well, okay. Let's see. Now you have to go into your inventory and pull it out. I know Molly very well. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ivanez is a trustful friend. Treat her as a gentleman. And I know Molly very well. Oh, there you go. You can read it. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Mm. Miss Ivanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentleman. I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good gods. What was her name doing there? I glanced at the opposite wall with the well-worn picture frames. Like an eternally dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby. The waves caressing her beautiful long legs. Why Molly? Why now? Mr. Featherland? <laughs> Santino, are you alright? What the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know anything, <laughs> Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Don't you? Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. Blackmail? Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? Not you. Miss Katsenko. <laughs> oh, yes. You can find her at the Czar Club. Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? No, she's really not like that. But she owns the place. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club. Especially on New Year's Eve, right? I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko. But there's one small problem, Mr. Featherland. Let me guess. 
Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? 20 years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sonny. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean, Sonny. I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sonny. My new buddy. <laughs> Let's see Hayward. Rabbit, male, special feature, old friend of mine. Stuttering, stuttering heavily when he comes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hotel, good friend of mine. No landlord. There's only two of us up in this hotel. Okay. Well, <laughs> right, the type of stories he gladly asked me when I asked. And there's his phone number. So we got a doll 555932. I take it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Or I'm going to start with 555. Five, five. <laughs> well, at least 555. Five, five. Hey, Lewis. Am I bothering you? Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. For you, anything. Just a minute. Lewis arrived a few minutes later. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not to mention that he's a rabbit. It was a quick hop. Quick the Atlas up. Hotel yeah. was his inheritance. It was once a well-renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it. And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. Why is anyone a resident of a hotel? Uh, the good old rabbit. I can always count on him, even on New Year's Eve. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez home? I have some things to take care of. Sonny, you know anything for you. Thank you for being so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Goodbye, then. So long, Deborah. Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in this city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope... He'll be willing to talk to me. <laughs> the B-Stars Noir. <laughs> anyway, I only hope that he'll be willing. Yep. Okay, so... Oh, there you go. Now you... That's the map up there. Okay, cool. Rain scenes have a bet. Storyboard, limited scenes for specific duration. Your completionist, complete everything. And close scenes are... Things you can't access and can be temporary or permanent. So it's kind of a. Well, you've only got one place, I guess. Oh. It was New Year's Eve, and I was driving, half drunk, risking my whole life's work, but still, it didn't feel any different. Every day was the same. <laughs> And the 121 days I had left till my retirement seemed like an eternity. When I look out the window of the hotel room I call home, I see the same thing every day. A woman in a red nightgown dances slowly in circles to smooth music. The nine o'clock shirt with a glass of cheap bourbon and the red gown with the silent music. In the meantime, the proud city of Clawville is slowly eating itself alive. And we're still here, with nothing left to lose but our sanity, while others, the smart ones, had already gone. Molly. Does her name really upset me this much? 
All those years of solitude, <laughs> and I still jump without question every time I. That's see ridiculous. It. And then there's Marty, my ex-partner who hates me, but I know I have to speak with him, no matter what. Why do I feel like the past is watching me on this goddamn night? <laughs>